Ezekiel chapter 1. We left off, we had the creatures. We had all about the creatures. And then we looked at these weird wheels and the creatures. And above the firmament, verse 26, a hard ground, hard thing, firm. There was over their heads, the beast, the creatures, was the likeness of a throne. The likeness. It wasn't a throne, it was a like a throne. As the appearance of sapphire stone. Remember that. Remember the stone. Upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And I saw as the co color of amber, yellow, orange, as the appearance of fire round about it within it, from the appearance of his loins, even upward, and from the appearance of his loins, even downward, I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire. It had a brightness round about. As the appearance of a bow that's in the cloud, pay attention to clouds in the Bible. In the day of rain, pay attention to rain and clouds. It's all second advent reference. That early and latter rain. Where in the tribulation period there is no rain. So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. Capital L. Capital O. Capital R. Capital D. In verse 26 he had the appearance of a man. Well, I, gee, I wonder who that is if you're not a Jehovah Witness. It can't be God because God's a spirit. No man has seen God at any time. When I saw it, I fell upon my face. And I heard a voice, one that spake. And it said unto me, Son of man, Stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. The Spirit, Holy Spirit, entered into me when he spanked unto me and set me upon my feet. I heard him that spanked to me. So he speaks to him, look at verse 4. 2, 4. Thus saith the Lord God. Okay, so now we have, in Ezekiel's vision, we have creatures. We have wheels, and we have a throne, and we have God. So, chapter 10, Ezekiel 10, 1, and I looked, and behold, in the firmament, Above the head of the cherubims appeared over them as were a sapphire stone. The sky blue. As the appearance of the likeness of a throne. And he said to clothe the linen go in between the wheels, even under the cherub. I thought they were creatures. No, they're the cherubims. And they got wheels. And above them, Ezekiel chapter 1, is a likeness of a throne. Hopefully we'll get to chapter 10. Revelation chapter 4.
verse 2. Revelation 4, 2. Immediately I was in the Spirit. Do you see Scripture with Scripture? Lying with the words. Don't mess with the words. I guarantee the modern Bibles. You can't do these cross-references. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. Now, Ezekiel said, like the throne, here is a throne in heaven. What's wrong with that throne in Ezekiel? It's not in heaven. But in heaven there is a throne. And Sat was to look upon like jasper and sardine stone. Ezekiel and John. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, a sight like unto an emerald green. And we saw that stone that was green in reference to the beast. Round about the throne were four and twenty seats. I don't know who these people are. Upon the, the seats I saw four and twenty elders. Clothed with white raiment. Verse 5. Out of the throne proceeded lightning, thunders, and voices. There were the seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. Then Ezekiel says, see a man has fire burning? which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne was a sea of glass like in the crystal in the midst of the throne, round about the throne. And the four beasts with four, uh, full of eyes before and after, the first beast, lion, cat, man, eagle. There you go. There you have it. We are in the same realm of Ezekiel, but that throne is not in heaven. We are in the same realm of John, which is in heaven. Exodus. Exodus 24. They say, what on earth are we doing back in Exodus 24? Verse 9. Exodus 24, 9. Then went up Moses. Went up. Up. We talked about the other day, Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and the 70 of the elders, not the 24 elders, but 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. There was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of sapphire stone. Moses, Ezekiel, John. And it was the body of heaven in clearness. What is the body? What do you say a body? A body of water in clearness? You mean the crystal? The ice? Before the throne of God? Moses, Aaron... Nahab, Abihu, and his elders of Israel went up into and saw glory, as Paul did. In verse 11, they saw God and did eat and drink. That has to be a, a, a personification of Jesus Christ. You would see him in the Old Testament as the angel of the Lord if you read the Old Testament. First Kings. First Kings. First Kings 22. And my writing. 19. This is Micaiah. I hate it for his preaching. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. 
I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on the right hand and on the left hand. You mean he saw the beast? I don't know the four and twenty-four elders are there yet. He saw all the host, host, God of hosts. Well, what does host mean? All the angels, all the beasts. How did he see God? He saw the personification of Jesus Christ. And everything around God and Jesus Christ. But we don't read the Old Testament. Revelation 22. Revelation 22, 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. No, it's not frozen, but it's clear as crystal. We've been seeing clearness. Proceed out of the throne of God and the Lamb. There's that throne again. Twenty one. Revelation twenty one. Talking about New Jerusalem, all the different stones. He says, I saw verse 22, no temple therein. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. So don't go say you got the temple of the Lord, a Baptist church. Don't go say, oh, we're in the house of the Lord, church. Because when we get to New Jerusalem, there is no temple. There is no house. That's on the new earth given to Abraham and Jacob. That's all about the throne of God. And you got to go here. You got to go there. You got to go over here. You got to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the word of truth. When you read your Bible, you got to have a paper and pencil or pen to be ready to make notes and follow these scriptures. You see, the lazy people don't read their Bible. They want it, okay, index, God's throne. It ain't going to work like that. You mean I gotta read the boring stuff? Yep. You mean I gotta read the stuff that's not, I know. Yep. That's called studying. 